Ken Sears here, and another Shea video. Well, greetings from New Orleans, Louisiana. It's Saturday night, the 18th, and uh, as you can see, I'm not in my shaved den. I'm in a red-walled bathroom, and uh, it's making me look like I'm sunburnt like crazy. I have been out on a double-decker bus all day, touring the city. God, like two, three hours, stopping, checking everything out. And there's a football game tomorrow. I think it must be New Orleans versus Washington because there's all these people with Washington uh, jerseys on getting in fights right downstairs right now uh, in the street, on Bourbon Street. I'm on the corner of Bourbon Street and uh, I think Orleans. But uh, I'm going to show you some video in a little bit on some of the craziness going on outside and some of the uh, things I saw on my tour today. Well, tonight I'm going to be using uh, Rock Rose Apothecary. Arrowhead Woods. God, that light is just terrible. Let me uh, watch this. Yeah, that's it. Rock Rose Ap Apothecary, Arrowhead Woods. Man, you guys got to forgive me. I have lighting in my place all set up awesome. I'm using my Volfix uh, travel brush. Looks like a little mini badger. Goodness gracious, those light. Hey, don't hold it against me. You know, uh, this, this, Red walls? Really? Red walls? I'm using my Mercure 34C with a Wilkinson Sword, a Gillette Wilkinson Sword blade. I'm going to top it off with some Parasso. I'm going out to uh, oh, a restaurant. I forget the name. I'll put the name right here. Got a six o'clock reservation, so I'm getting ready to head out there. And I get to walk right down Bourbon Street for three blocks, so you're going to see some <laughs> uh, definitely crazy shenanigans going on. All right. Rock Rose Apothecary. I've done a video uh, of the uh, soaps from Rock Rose before, and this one, very nice. Very nice. Something, something good for me to use on a nice fancy dinner night that I'm going out on. Going out with my wife and daughter. Went for uh, traditional local food last night, and uh, we were walking down Bourbon Street, and <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been to Tijuana, and you're walking down uh, Revolution Boulevard, but uh, people are stopping you, come on in, come on in, you know, clubs, bars, strip clubs, restaurants, so I ended up in a, looked like what used to be in an alley, but uh, some good food. In fact, uh, here's a picture of what I had. Some pretty good food, I tell you. All right, let me wet my face. Ah, this bathroom is not equipped. Not equipped for filming. Tomorrow evening, I'll be at Lafayette, Louisiana, which is... Uh, Right in the swamp country by Avery Island, and uh, hopefully I can bring you some footage of that. But from what I've seen today of uh, New Orleans, this is a party town. A party, party town. And i got to be honest with you. If you know where you're going, you're going to be okay, but you step one foot in the wrong direction. And... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Some of the places look kind of shady. All right. Very nice soap. Very nice soap. Smells good. I left Orange County yesterday at, well, I was at the airport at eight o'clock. The Uber driver picked me up at uh, 7.15. So from eight o'clock till six o'clock local time, I've been traveling. So it was a long, long day. So it was nice to just go relax, I thought, have some dinner. They had live music, jazz playing next to me. Can hardly hear now. 
<laughs> all the activity from last night. But I am on the fifth floor with a balcony, so I can see all the, the fun shenanigans going on down below. If you're not from a, uh, you know, if you're not from the city, I'm from the suburbs. So when you get to this city life, it can be overwhelming, that's for sure. And if you're wondering why I'm not taking my time and doing a hugely thick lather, it's because I have two young ladies waiting outside this bathroom to use it before we go out to dinner. And I'm hogging it for a good 10, 15 minutes. And it's gonna rain tonight. So it was like 78 degrees today and then suddenly clouds are overhead and it's, you know, 50% chance of rain. And it does look like it's gonna rain. But there have been some awesome sights to see. I didn't see any of the bead throwing. But it's Saturday night tonight. So we'll see what happens. I did see beads hanging from power lines, from trees, Mardi Gras beads. So I think the party in this town never stops. It reminded me of a uh, Kind of downtown Las Vegas, Fremont experience. The sights you see there. Ah, well the soap performed great. sure I have all the soap out of my ears. God, it makes me look red. Sunburn. Feels like I cut myself right there, so we'll see if any blood comes out. Nothing in that ear. Nothing in that ear. Oh. Had the window open. You know, you have your kind of balcony you can go out on. And uh, in fact, here's a view of the balcony. three in the morning. It was uh, a town that never sleeps. All right, some Porasso. As I start to head north on this vacation, it's going to be a little more rural, a little mellower. Yep, cut myself, see? Oh, oh there's the burn. Oh, oh nice Porasso. And then tonight, Check this out, I got a carry uh, container. I'll be plopping on some eternity as I head out the door. That's it for New Orleans. Probably the next video is either gonna be from Lafayette or Monroe, Louisiana. But uh, definitely some crazy things going on out there.
But if you look at this cemetery, lots of famous people are buried here, but it's only a square block. And we have over 50,000 people buried there, and it's still an access branch. Three weeks after that big celebration, the whole flips it. That was his travel plan. Uh, merchants had made money here due to the port of New Orleans. So, they left their businesses down here. subscriptions I really enjoy doing these travel videos because uh, when you see some of these places on television or in movies they look so huge that Bourbon Street and the streets here in the French Quarter New Orleans 37 feet wide I pictured it like Main Street or you know uh, Disneyland you know New Orleans Square or Main Street huge wide no no narrow little streets balconies on each side craziness block to block so it's kind of different to actually experience in person than it is to see on TV. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon.